ancient biblical historical geography. Asia Minor and Asia Major. Universal Center for Renovation presents historical and biblical Israelites. This video is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. A biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. And this video is about the advanced knowledge, the advanced geographical knowledge of the Hebrews, the ancient Hebrews, Asia Minor and Asia Major. Without the aid of modern satellite technology, the ancient Hebrews seem to possess the supernatural knowledge to understand the natural shape of the earth. To confirm this, I would like to read a verse from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Western civilization conquered Eastern civilization. First with Alexander, the great of Macedonia, and then the Roman Empire. A much older and technologically and spiritually advanced civilization fell to a younger and much less experienced society. For indeed, the East was the birthplace of civilization. Eastern societies became revengeful because of their hurt pride to see their younger child in such a exalted state at its expense. This caused its parent, Eastern civilization, to hinder this development. And they refused to give up all its secrets concerning governance, history, technology, and spiritual systems. Basically, its knowledge. It being Eastern civilization knew it couldn't halt the march of progress of its destiny to be subjugated under its younger child. Read the book of Daniel and the four beasts or kingdoms. It, Eastern civilization, instead tried to slow its development, Western civilization, by making Western civilization relearn and rediscover historical and geographical knowledge that had been known for millennia. This dark age for Western civilization lasted until the Renaissance and the Age of Enlightenment for Europe. Full of wrath and anger because its subjugated Easterners or older civilizations didn't acknowledge or cooperate under their rulership caused the Westerners to vengefully stamp out the pride of the Eastern civilizations. 
And that pride came from their history, spiritual science, and knowledge. The plan was simple. Bury the ancient history and start over. The age of discovery was a means of reintroducing ancient nations by renaming them and rewriting their stories. For example, the native of the Americas became a mysterious people without a past that could be reshaped into whatever the elite of the Western world thought. Problems in this insidious plan would only arise if the world would rediscover that the peoples of the Western Hemisphere were well known to the poets and scholars of the old world. In fact, they made global maps of the world with the Western Hemisphere clearly for all to see, such as the globe of Crete. For indeed, peoples of the Western Hemisphere came from the East, and eventually to the East they shall return. The Globe of Crete. Crates of Malice. Crates of Malice, 2nd century BC, was a Greek grammarian and Stoic philosopher, leader of the literary school and head of the library of Pergamum. He was described as the crates from Malice to distinguish him from other philosophers by the same name. His chief work was a critical and exegetical commentary on Homer. He is also famous for constructing the earliest known globe of the earth. And on this globe of crates of malice, there existed a region of the world called Ecumene or Oikumene, the inhabited world, which consisted of three continents, Africa, Europe, and Asia. And this is an image from the works of Herodotus. Ecumene is described by Herodotus in the 5th century BC. Ecumene or Oikumene, the inhabited world, Europe, Asia, and at the time, Libya, but known today as Africa. And on this globe, which is a more up-to-date model of the world, Ecumene, the inhabited world of the Greeks and the Romans, which consisted of three continents, Africa, Europe, and Asia. Ecumene. In ancient Greece, the term Ecumene, or Achaemene, Achaemene, the inhabited world, denoted the known inhabited or habitable world. In Greek antiquity, it referred to the portions of the world known to Hellenic geographers 
subdivided into three continents, Africa, Europe, and Asia. Under the Roman Empire, it came to refer to civilization itself, as well as the secular and religious imperial administration. In present usage, it is most often used in the context of ecumenical and describes the Christian church as a unified whole or the unified modern world civilization. It is also used in cartography to describe a type of world map used in late antiquity and the Middle Ages. The etymology of this word, the Greek term cited above is the feminine present middle particle of the verb wakel, inhabit, and it is a clipped form of wakemene, inhabited world. In this portion of the world, this region, there was a region known as Asia, but it was subdivided into two parts, Asia Minor and Asia Major. In this map of the Silk Road, from the time of 300 BC, or around the time of Alexander the Great of Macedonia to AD 100, this map reveals certain land and sea trade routes. This map reveals an ancient network of connected cities and ports. This ancient network goes back well before the time of Ramesses II of Egypt. In this map, the area from Syria to China was called Asia Major. The nations and cities of Eastern civilization, they had a extensive trade network of land routes and sea ports. And these secrets were not easily revealed to Western civilization when they came to dominate a portion of what is called Asia Major. Alexander and the Macedonians reached as far as the Indus, India, and Afghanistan. But the connection of ports and trade routes on land existed all the way into China and the South Pacific. And this is the region known as Asia Minor, but today as Turkey, which is a member of NATO. Antolia, Antolia, also known as Asia Minor, etymology, the East, from the Greek language, geography, its location, Turkey, Antolia, Antolia, also known as Asia Minor, is a large peninsula or a region in Turkey constituting most of its contemporary territory. Geographically, the Antolian region is bounded by the Mediterranean Sea 
to the south, the Aegean Sea to the west, the Turkish Straits to the northwest, and the Black Sea to the north. The eastern and southeastern boundary is either an imprecise line from the Gulf of Iskenderun to the Black Sea, or the southeastern and eastern borders of Turkey. This is Asia Minor. Russian Orthodox, icon of the Apostle Paul, 18th century, iconostasis of Transfiguration, Church, Kyrgyz, Monastery, Karelia, Russia. Paul, the Apostle, Paul, previously called Saul of Tarsus, born A.D. 5, died around 64 or 65 A.D., commonly known as Paul the Apostle, and St. Paul was a Christian apostle, an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, who spread the teachings of of Jesus, Greek for Yahweh Shai, in the first century world, generally regarded as one of the most important figures of the apostolic age. He founded several Christian communities in Asia Minor and Europe from the mid 40s to the mid 50s AD. These are different versions of the book of Acts chapter 19 verse 10 to give us the significance of Asia Minor and the history of biblical narrative thought and geography in the first version of Acts chapter 19 verse 10 is Philip's then Paul made his way into the synagogue there, and for three months he spoke with the utmost confidence, using both argument and persuasion as he talked of the kingdom of God in the Hebrew, kingdom of Yahweh. But when some of them hardened in their attitude towards the message and refused to believe it, and what is more spoke offensively, about the way in public, Paul left them and withdrew his disciples and held daily discussions in the lecture hall of Tyrannius. He continued this practice for two years so that all who lived in Asia, both Greeks and Jews, could hear the Lord's message. God gave most unusual demonstrations of power through Paul's hands, so much so that people took to the sick any handkerchiefs or small cloths which have been in contact with his body, and they were cured of their diseases, and their evil spirits left them. The emphasis is the term Asia and Asia Minor. In the NCB version, province of Asia is used. In NCV, in Asia is used. In NET version, province of Asia is used. In NIRV version, Asia Minor is used. So Asia Minor in Asia is the same province or same region used in the New Testament. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul taught and established schools in Asia Minor, known today as Turkey. This is the Revel Bible Dictionary. In this Bible dictionary, there is a two-page spread of a map 
of the travels of Paul the Apostle. The world of the first century, the world of Asia Minor, Greece, and Italy, places where the Apostle Paul established churches for the saints that were in these parts of the world. Asia Minor is Turkey today. In this map, we can see the circle, Jerusalem. This is a location not too far from Asia Minor. It's within walking distance. It's completely connected my land. On the top is Asia Minor. The bottom is Jerusalem. They share close proximity and they were on the same trade routes. As we can see again, Jerusalem, Asia Minor, Egypt, below Jerusalem, and to the left of Egypt, Libya, and above Libya is Greece, and above Greece is Italy. This is the world of the first century. Apostle Paul traveled many journeys to Asia Minor to teach the churches there. On the top is Paul's first missionary journey. In the middle, Paul's second missionary journey. In the last, on the bottom, Paul's third missionary journey. Now that we have a basic understanding of Asia Minor, let's look at the second division of Asia, also known as Asia Major. Asia Minor and Asia Major. Wikimene was divided into three parts, Europe, Africa, and Asia. But Asia was divided into two parts, Asia Minor, which was Turkey, and the rest of Asia, from Syria to China, which was called Asia Major. The world, according to Herodotus, B.C. 4050, Ecumene, or Oikomene, the inhabited world. On this map from Herodotus, we can see the region of Syria. And at the end of the map of Asia is the region of China. For more information on this geographical region of Asia, you can turn to Wikisource, Dictionary of Greek and Roman Geography, under the title Asia. Or for more information and detailed data, you can turn to the dictionary itself, Greek and Roman Geography by William Smith, Volume 1, for Asia Major and Asia Minor. Okay, we're going to briefly go over this information. Dictionary of Greek and Roman Geography, Asia. And the article in the dictionary reads, 
and explains the subdivisions of the continent of Asia. The most general division of Asia was into two parts, Asia Minor and Asia Major. The division or division ultimately adopted, but apparently not till the fourth century of our era, was that of Asia Major and Asia Minor. So now this article will go into a detailed explanation of which countries belong in the region known as Asia Major. Asia Major begins at the Tanis River. The Tanis River is called the Don River today. Everything east of the Don River is Asia Major. And this, as the article reads, thus it included the countries of Sarmatia, Asiatica, with all of the Scythian tribes. On the map to the right is Sarmatia, the Tanis River, also known as the Don River, and the Scythian tribes. Scythia is above the Tanis River. On the bottom in the circle is Asia or Asia Minor. So at the Don River is the river that starts the region of Asia Major. The Scythian tribes are located in Russia. The Tanis or the Don River is located in Russia. Thus, it included the countries of Sarmatia Asiatica, with all the Scythian tribes to the east. Caucasus. Caucasus is located in the Caucasus Mountain of Georgia, Russia. Iberia, which is located also in the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Albania, and it continues, Armenia. Syria and Arabia. On the map to the left, you can see the regions of Armenia, just below the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. And below Armenia is Syria. And below Syria is Arabia. These are regions of Asia Major. And this article in the dictionary continues to name regions belonging to the area known as Asia Major. And the next region is Mesopotamia. And to the left in the circle is the region of Mesopotamia, a part of Asia Major. Also included is Babylonia. This region is also included in the region of Asia Major. Babylonia is included on the bottom of the map in the red circle. After naming Mesopotamia, and the article in the dictionary goes on to name Assyria and Media. On the left, on the map, Assyria is circled in red. And next to Assyria on the left is Media. These are regions or countries in Asia 
major. Next on the list is the region of Susiana and Persis. Susiana is in the circle in red next to Babylonia. And to the right of Susiana is Persis. These are countries and regions in the area of Asia Major. And next we have Ariana and Hycania on the map to the right. We have Hycania circled and Ariana circled. These are areas or regions in Asia Major. Also included in this list are the regions of Morgiana and Bactriana and Sogdiana. On the map to the right, these countries are circled. Mar, Guyana, and to the bottom, Bactriana or Bactria, and on the top of Bactria is Sog, Diana. These are regions that are part of Asia Major. Also, on the list of countries belonging to Asia Major, that's on this list, is India. India. And to the right, there's a map of India. The land of the Sine is also on this list. In the Far East, Sine. This is a country of Asia Major. Sine is known today as China. China was part of Asia Major. According to the geography of the Greeks and Romans, Sine, China, part of Asia Major. And the last region on the list is Serica, Serica, which is now called Northern China. Serica was part of the region known as Asia Major. Asia Major and Asia Minor was part of an intercontinental Africa, Asia, and Europe trading network of cities and seaports. Asia Major from Syria to China conducted trade, business, and other political dynamics or diplomacy with 
each other. This is part of Eastern civilization. Trade networks, diplomatic networks, trading technology, resources, and migrating into each other territories. This is ancient history, ancient knowledge, sharing technology, sharing merchandise, sharing information. This is ancient history.